good morning kids and good morning to your learning facilitator at home. Welcome to our English class for quarter four, week four. Are you ready to learn another lesson? Okay. Our lesson for today is about basic categories of words. Can you repeat it, please? Okay, great. Sorting words is an activity that builds your skills in grouping words. It involves your thinking ability. It helps you understand the category of different words. Sorting and classifying things are done almost every day. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to sort and classify words into basic categories. That is our lesson objective. Let us have our review from our previous lesson. Did you still remember it? Okay. Identify the adjectives in each sentence. Number one, I love the tiny pillow. Uh, what is the adjective or describing word here? Very good, it is tiny. Number two, I saw a big jet today. Uh, what is the describing word here or the adjective used in the sentence? Very good. It is big. Number three. My mom has a yellow bag. Uh, can you tell me which is the adjective here? Very good. It is yellow. Number four. The little boy was crying. What is the adjective in this sentence? Great, that is little. And number five, the green frog hopped in the pond. Oh, what is the adjective that is being used in this sentence? Very good. It is green. Uh, can you repeat the adjectives in the sentences? Uh, repeat after me. Tiny. Big. Yellow. Little. Green. Great. Let's have our new lesson for today. Uh, in each group of pictures, choose the one that is different from the rest. Uh, I have here burger, banana, hot dog sandwich, and french fries. Uh, which among this group of food does not belong to the group or what is different here or which is the different food here okay that is the banana banana doesn't belong to the group that is unhealthy because banana is a healthy food or this food can be eaten in the fast food, while banana is not. Next, pineapple, strawberry, squash, and grapes. Oh, choose one that is different from this group. Okay, that is the squash. Because this group are 
What group is this? Very good. These are fruits. While squash is vegetable. Next. Notebook, bag, broom, or map, and pencil. Uh, maybe this is a broom. Okay. Ah. What doesn't belong here or what is different here in this group? Very good. Okay, this is the broom, broomstick. Tricycle, car, airplane, and bicycle. Ah, what is different here? Very good. That is the airplane. Why did you say that it is the airplane? Great! Because these vehicles or transportation are used in land while airplane is used in air. Green, brown, orange, and one. Uh, what is different here? Or what does not belong to this group? Great! That is number one. Teacher, policeman, kangaroo, and fireman. Uh, can you tell me which is different here? Very good. It is the kangaroo. Can you tell me why? It is because kangaroo is an animal, while the others are people or person. Now, look at this list of words below. Sort them into the groups. I have ice cream, cow, noodle, Pig, swing, tomato, basketball, horse. Okay, you will group it into food, toys, or farm animals. Okay, let us begin. Ice cream. Where do you place it? Or which group or which box should be place ice cream is the ice cream should be in the group of food how about cow great it is farm animals next is noodle oh where did you want to place it great it is food how about pig we will place it in the box for farm animals how about swing that's correct it is a toy so we will place it in the group of toys how about tomato? Correct. It is for food. Basketball. Toys. And horse. It belongs to farm animals. Okay. Oh, we have another set for cake. Soup, carabao, jump rope, bike, doll, and coat. You will sort it also in food, 
toys and farm animals. Okay, let's begin. Again, kick. Where did you, where will you uh, group it? Is it food, toys, or farm animals? Very good. It is food. How about soup? Correct. It is food. Carabao. Farm animals. How about jump rope? Okay. It belongs to toys. Bike. Okay. Toys also. How about doll? Correct. Doll belongs to toys. And lastly, goat. Farm animals. Okay? You did great. Well done. For our learning task one, group the objects according to their size. Is it big or small? Group it accordingly. Okay, we have here pencil, drawer, eraser, a chair, and eraser. Okay, let's group the objects. Uh, let's begin. Pencil. Is it big or small? Correct, it is small. How about the drawer? Uh, what is the size of a drawer? Correct, it is big. Next, we have chair. Is it big or small? That's great, it is big. And lastly, eraser. Eraser is small. Okay, now you already group the objects according to size. For our learning task 2, sort the following words under proper groups or categories. We have doctor, cat, dog, police officer, teacher, and fish. You will group it into people or animals. Are you ready now? Uh, let's begin. Doctor, is it people or animals? Very good. It is people. It belongs to people. How about cat? Of course, it is animals. Uh, dog, where will you place it? Is it under people or animals? Great, it is animals. It belongs to animals. How about police officer? Uh, we will place it under people category. And teacher, uh, we will place it in the category or group of people also and lastly fish we will group it in animals okay let's read the categories for people are doctor police officer and teacher and for animals cat dog and fish belongs to this group or categories choose the word that does not belong to the group write your answer in your notebook on number one a blouse b bicycle c pants or d shoes uh, what does not belong to the group okay it is letter b bicycle because the others are uh, clothes or you can wear it. But bicycle, you, you cannot be able to wear it. But you can ride on it. 
Number two, A, butterfly, B, elephant, C, dog, or D, lion. Which word does not belong to the group? Okay, very good. It is butterfly because butterfly are flying while the others uh, live in land. Number three, A, carrot, B, cabbage, C, apple, or D, potato. Oh, what does not belong to the group? Very good. It is letter C, apple. Because apple is a fruit while the others are vegetables. For our learning task 3, group the pictures according to the given categories. Draw the answers in the box. Do this in your notebook. Okay, ready with your notebook. Uh, let us group it according to shape. We have the shape of round, round shape. Square, triangle, and rectangle. Are you ready now? Ah. Where will you place the ball? Is it round, square, triangle, or rectangle? Okay, that is round. Next is the window. We will place it. In what shape? Very good. Square. How about the cake? Uh, with this shape. Uh, we will place it in round shape. Uh, how about the dice? Very good. It is a square. And a cone. Triangle. Uh, Look at this gift. Uh, what is the shape of a gift? Of course, it is a square. Uh, how about a door? Uh, where will we place this? Correct, it is rectangle. And lastly, the shape of this roof. Okay, it is triangle. Now, you already group the things according to shape. Did you got it all correctly? Well done! Ah, just remember the categories of words. Categorization is the act of sorting and organizing things according to group, class, or category. For example, shapes, food, and animals. We may group it according to shapes, foods, or animals. And the other categories. For our learning task 4, choose from the box below the days of the week. Write them in your notebook. Uh, let us read. Monday, today, Wednesday, tomorrow, morning, Tuesday, Saturday, Thursday, afternoon, Friday, picnic, and Sunday. Ah, uh, what are the days of the weeks here? Uh, write it on your notebook. 
Uh, let us check. The days of the week are Monday. What else? Wednesday. What is your answer? Tuesday. Any more? Saturday. Thursday. And there are two remainings. Friday. And lastly, Sunday. Let us read the days of the weeks. Okay. Or the days of the week. Monday. Wednesday. Tuesday. Saturday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Did you got it all? Very good. For our learning task 5, identify the category of each group of pictures. Then write them in your notebook. A look at this picture. Is it letter A, people? B. Animals C. Objects And the correct answer is letter B. Animals Number 2 Look at these pictures Okay, is it letter A. People B. Animals or C. Objects Of course, it is letter C. Number three. Is it A, people? B, animals? Or C, objects? The correct answer is letter A, people. For our learning task six, identify the correct categories of the pictures in each number. Write the answers in your notebook. Uh, number one, is it A, clothes, or B, food? And the correct answer is letter A, clothes. Number two, is it A, places, or B, transportation? And the correct answer is letter B, transportation. Number three, is it A, places or B, shapes? What is your answer? And the correct answer is letter B, shapes. Number four, look at these pictures. Is it letter A, places? And letter B, food. Tell me what is your answer. And our correct answer is letter A, places. And number five. What category is this? A, fruits. B, vegetables. And the correct answer is letter A, fruits. Uh, how many correct answers did you get? Very good. Complete the sentences below. Select your answers from the choices in the box. Do this in your notebook. We have these choices, categories, classifies, and colors. I will re I will read the uh, paragraph. Categorizing words, sorts, and blank things into basic blank. Some examples are blank, shapes, and many more. Okay, what is your answer in number one? And the correct answer is classifies. Ah, uh, do we have the same answer? Great. Number two, what is your answer? The correct answer is categories. And lastly, colors. Ah, uh, let us 
read again. Categorizing words sorts and classifies things into basic categories. Some examples are colors, shapes, and many more. Okay, thank you. That's all for our English lesson. I hope that you understand our lesson for this week. I'm teacher Diana Lynn. I'm your teacher that is willing to, to teach every new lesson. Till next time, goodbye. Take care.